the useless news. Useless news. Right here on the Big Dumb Fun Show. The Vinkman Reporting. Good evening, everyone. My name is Vinkman. This is the Useless News on the Big Dumb Fun Show. Sponsored, as always, by Uncle Rusty's Pure Pork Salsa. Now with fortified ants. He puts the ants right into the salsa, Gunnerk. It's insane. It's delicious. What? delicious as well. It's great for barbecue. Oh, man. And you dog little, food. You take some ants and you just sprinkle them on uh, your burger along with little Uncle Rusty's. It's delicious. There's no beating that. Salt Lake City, a mass kissing protest. A mass kissing pro- No, a mass kissing protest near the Mormon Church Temple Sunday drew a shouting match between gay activists and their critics. Of course, the gay activists, they're shouting. It's like, hey! Yeah. <laughs> They're sending text messages. <laughs> hey there! Kelly's here! Kelly goes to all those things. Huge uh, gay supporter. She is. For the second consecutive weekend, about a 100 people gathered to stage a kiss-in to protest the treatment of two gay men cited for trespassing July 9th after they shared a kiss on the plaza owned by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Both gay and straight couples exchanged kisses during the protest. Which doesn't make sense to me why a straight couple would kiss. Uh, well, yeah. maybe they were kissing gay people. Take it, take it to the man. Only if you are a man. Demonstrators were greeted at the south entrance by a group of protesters carrying large signs that denounced homosexuality, prompting a heated verbal exchange. This also kind of reminds me, why did we hear nothing from the, Fed, the Fred Phelps people during the whole Michael Jackson funeral? Why weren't they at outside that funeral protesting? You didn't hear a damn thing about that. No. But as soldiers, yeah, that's okay. But, I mean, Michael Jackson, come on. No, it's... You, you would know, think, protester after protester. They're not you think out, they could get a couple of members that's, that's to... That's like getting in front of the Catholic Church and protesting. Same deal. Not going to happen. No. Uh, please say no one was arrested or cited. However, some people had a super time. <laughs> Despite a large group exchanging kisses by a, uh, a reflecting pool at the plaza's center. We didn't call the police. We didn't do anything, church spokeswoman uh, Kim Farris said. The uh, church bought one block of uh, Salt Lake City's Main Street to build a plaza in the 1990s alongside the temple where Mormon marriages and other religious rituals take place. Uh, Matt Ahn uh, said as he and his partner Derek Jones exchanged a modest kiss at the plaza 11 days ago, but church officials contend their behavior was lewd. Well, it's because he was kissing his nuts. I mean, it wasn't... I mean, even the most polite... No, 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 I'm just inferring that even the most polite kiss... If it's on another man's if testes, it's, it's I mean, man, you know of, uh, of all people. Man, I don't know anything about that. That's what I've heard. Yeah. The men were all walking home from a nearby concert. Yeah, who, what, do you, what concert do you think that yeah. was? Barbara Streisand. Uh, Incubus, maybe? No. No? Marilyn Manson. Maybe Jonas Brothers. <laughs> they were walking home from a nearby concert, cutting through the plaza on their way home. It's the village people. The police report said <laughs> that they uh, sat down for a kiss and were approached by a pair of church security <laughs> guards. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm from the church security. There's no man, hot man on man kissing Excuse here me. in the plaza. Jesus said so. That's right. They asked him to leave because their behavior was unwanted. Both uh, both were handcuffed, and uh, one of them was pinned to the ground. But that was before the security guards even got there. Don't tase me, bro. No. A woman is suing an Egyptian hotel, claiming her daughter got pregnant from using the swimming pool. <laughs> After hours, maybe. <laughs> Magdalena Kwiatowski, a 13-year-old, uh, she returned from Poland from their vacation, and she was uh, now expecting a baby. Her mom believes the teenager conceived from a stray sperm after taking a dip in the hotel's mixed pool. One of those super sperms that travels yeah. through chlorine. Yeah. <laughs> and through a, like, you know, a bathing suit. Maybe if you were swimming in a pool of semen. I mean, once again, you've got experience. Is you that... Mean, you mean sailors, oh. right? Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what I meant. She's now seeking compensation from the hotel. <laughs> How much is how much is that, that going to run you? Do you think that her daughter and, uh, might a false be, impregnation? Yeah, like, maybe it's an immaculate conception. You never know. Maybe they should get with the Church of Latter Day Saints. A, uh, a travel industry source says the mother is adamant that her daughter didn't meet any boys while she was there. She is determined to go ahead with the case. So, stray sperm in the water just happens to float on up in there, and uh, I don't believe that at all. I think there should be some sort of a test, and uh, that'll throw this yeah, thing out of course. Yeah, at least like a swimming test. <laughs> exactly. Forget about a paternity test. <laughs> 
see if she can. Uh, she, she was wearing floaties the whole time, so she had protection. Yeah. A novice nun is suing her ex-boyfriend in Italy. Welcome to Italy. After uh, he uploaded pictures of her naked on Facebook. What? What's a novice nun? Well, obviously the, one that takes naked pictures of herself. I was for... practicing to be a nun. <laughs> I went to the costume shop and I got a nun's outfit. She's probably trying to develop good habits. Yeah, she's got a bad habit. Taking nude pictures. The 31... How many habit jokes are you going to try to... 31-year-old woman who lives in uh, Turin said that she was devastated when she saw the pictures taken the summer of 2006 during a holiday in Sicily on the social networking site Facebook. The man who uh, wanted to stop her becoming a nun has refused to remove the pictures despite the woman's request. What about Facebook saying, hey, you can't have nude pictures on Facebook? Now, lawyer, her lawyer has taken action and said, my client doesn't want money. She only wants that uh, he respects her decision to become a nun. So can a judge demand respect? You will respect her. Can a naked uh, nun get respect? I wonder if this is going to hurt her chances. You don't I don't think they'll go around the rectory? <laughs> hey, you know, you check out this picture. Mm. Look at those Roman numerals. Sister Turin here was doing it doggy style. Do the nuns actually come with the ruler to slap you on the hands? I thought that's part, part of, of like the garb. At graduation, they get a ruler. And they give you the ruler. Large numbers of Italians, meanwhile, have logged in to see pictures, uh, leaving comments like, "If all nuns were that hot, I'd become a priest." Apparently, they don't know about the priests uh, are not supposed to be having sex. Exactly. Most likely, uh, they would not have much action from that. And look at all the other nuns. Uh, this is from a listener, uh, A.G., also from J.War., also from Frank. <laughs> Everyone saw this article and thought, this is a useless news story. A, it is, but uh, who sent it first? You did, sir. <laughs> a New Hampshire man bought a pack of cigarettes from his local gas station, only to find that his credit card was charged 23 quadrillion dollars. The exact amount was 23 quadrillion, 148 trillion, 855 billion, 308 million, 184 thousand five hundred, several times the United States national debt. Do you know, you know, they have been adding some taxes to cigarettes. That's days. true. He said, yes, yeah, syntax. He says his appeals to his bank first met with little understanding, although it was eventually corrected. <laughs> do, you do you think the people that charged him for it were a little upset when he disputed the charge? He, uh, he went back to the gas station, but they were unable to help. So he's like, hey, can you credit this back to my card? You accidentally pressed the quadrillion button. <laughs> I'm say. sorry, I cannot understand you. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, I'm a little speaker, little speaker. And can I get a Powerball? Can you give me some lottery tickets on top of oh, that, please, uh, sir? Oh, no, yeah. Here you go. He checked his online bank account a few hours after he bought cigarettes. He says he spent two hours on the phone with Bank of America before it was finally resolved. But what's funny is that they were he was charged $23 quadrillion, $148 trillion, $855 billion, $308 million, $184,500, and plus... Twenty-five dollars for insufficient funds. Now that's the bitch. Yeah, that, that's, that's the that's kicker right. right there. That'll ruin your weekend, my friend. My name is Vankman. That is the useless news on the Big Dumb Fun Show. Submit your own crap to the show by sending me an email: useless news at bigdumbfunshow.com.